in a plane. All right. Um. Oh, why are my clothes all ready? Oh my god, we're crashing! Oh my god, we're crashing! <laughs> oh no! Is, can I see ocean? Where are we? I hope we're not over mountains. No, I'm just kidding. We're going into the ocean. Oh no! Oh, I want to call my mom! <laughs> mayday, mayday. Oh. Uh, major disaster right away. Why would this happen? Oh my god. Oh, we're in the plane. Um, can I grab a floaty pillow? Get to a life raft on the surface. Okay. Oh, it's so dark. Everything is so crazy. Oh my god. Um, there's a hole in the plane. Let's get out. Oh, oh it's so stressful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's up, everyone? It's Casters here, and it's time to play Stranded Deep. Oh, oh, oh. Oh man, oh man, things are super crazy. We just crashed on a plane. Um, I can't seem to keep my head above water. And yeah, things are not going well. Looks like Flunair Airline has some work to do. We totally just crashed. Um, oh no, I'm trying to get the life raft. I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? How is it going? I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day today. I'm having a super awesome day. Just ready to record this, like, super awesome game. I got this game about a year ago, but it was totally different back then. I didn't play it too much then either, because I was, like, in the middle of a million other games. And I'm really excited to jump into this. Oh, look at that. We got a shadow. We got a shadow. A pretty, like, nice shadow. We got ears and everything. Oh, we got really holy jeans. Like, they were instantly holy, though. Those were like that on the plane. I must be like a hipster or something. Now, if we hit tab, we can open up our backpack, and we have nothing. We have nothing! Uh, let's interact with the life raft? Oh, what? We don't have an oar anymore! Oh. Oh, creepy music. Creepy music. Oh my goodness. So yeah, we're just here checking out this game. I'm gonna call it a new game, because it's like a lot of this is gonna be brand new to me. And I'm really excited to get into it. It's like the middle of summer, and just like I played um, The Long Dark for a bit in the middle of the winter, I wanna play some Stranded Deep and get my island groove on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, um, this is a survival crafting game, obviously. Our plane has crashed, and we need to gather and build. Oh my gosh, a seagull. I don't know if seagulls were always here before. That's, like, super cool. Alright, so this is our normal type of survival crafting. Um, you know, we just gotta gather a whole bunch of stuff going on here at the beginning. And I'm not really sure what has been changed, but I know in the past it's, like, inventory was super limited. We have got- we've got an extra row of inventory space compared to what we had before back in the day. So it'll be interesting to see how else things have changed here. Oh yeah, a rock. Give me that. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're just walking around the beach, picking stuff up. Hopefully we can find some useful things here. I see something blue on the ground. Let's go grab that. What is that? Is that a snake? <gasps> um, could I hit it with the stick? No, I'm clicking and it doesn't look like I could hit it with the stick. Um, it's all curled up. And it rattled at me. So are you a rattlesnake? Alright, I probably don't want to mess with the rattlesnake. Not not without a weapon. That doesn't seem good. Oh, I'm afraid to pick tarps up. Could snakes be under there too? Ooh! <laughs> so those are definitely new. There were not snakes in the game back when I was playing. The islands themselves were just kind of devoid of life. So that's crazy. Ooh, I gotta watch out walking around through this grass now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um... Young palm tree. Alright, I don't have any sort of a cutting tool yet in my inventory. Oh my gosh, that's like an arc plant. Look at that. That's like one of the same plants. Oh, there's a cool flower in it. Oh, that's like super, super cool, man. It's so pretty. So yeah, before I start building anything, I'm probably going to want to get like a campfire going. And some kind of a starter shelter sort of a dealio. Oh my gosh, this game is just beautiful. Sorry, I'm just like looking at the waves and oh man, it'd be so nice to be out at a lake or at the ocean right now. All right. 
do a quick lap around here. And you might notice I'm kind of avoiding running. That is because every stat in here kind of matters. So if we look on the first screen, we can see what the temperature is like, what time it is, and it is the 29th of January. We have survived for zero days. Okay. Um, right click does nothing. If we left click, we go over to this and we can see our health, our food, our thirst, and our rest meter. So we've got to worry about multiple things here. How's our inventory space? Totally rocking. Let's get this. Um, yeah, what, what the crap was I just saying? Yeah, we've got multiple survival aspects that we've got to worry about. And I know when I had played in the past, there were like tons of things that could happen to you that were like lasting effects. Like you could get sick, you could get sunburned, you could get poisoned by sea urchins, and now I'm guessing by rattlesnakes. So stuff is absolutely awesomely crazy in this game. I love like super awesome survival y kind of games. Uh, let's get that rock. We'll just finish this lap up, and we're probably going to end up needing to make some, like, stone tool kind of a thing. And get some cordage going on. Oh, a crab! I should be able to just, like, pick him up. I wish I could smack him with the stick. What do I do? How do I craft? No. C. Oh. This is different. If you are surviving with minimal equipment after a disaster, you will need some tools with which to build a shelter and cut firewood. In the wilderness, broken or lost tools cannot be replaced, so you must take great care of them. Always work within limitations of your tools as well as your own capabilities. All right, so it looks like major kind of upgrades have happened here. What the crap is that noise? Uh, close, 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 what's that noise? Oh, it's just seagulls. <laughs> I just like hearing all these squirrely noises. I didn't know what was going on. Um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they startled me. But yeah, it looks like major kind of upgrades to the crafting things have happened here. Let's just kind of finish our loop around, and then we'll make a tool, see if we can catch, like, some crabs and get a little bit of food and stuff going on. How's our hunger? We're a little bit thirsty. Water is going to be super major. We've got to worry about water kind of right away. <gasps> Are you guys joking? I was just talking about water. Give me that bucket. Press E to pick up. Yes! Oh! Oh, no way! This is so awesomely lucky! Take this guy out, now we should be able to just, like, jump right in, right? Is this still a thing? I can't believe we just found a bucket. We're just, like, amazing. Alright, now we should have a bunch of water in the bucket. I obviously cannot drink it this way. I'll get sick from seawater. Um. But now I should be able to, like, craft a fire and kind of get it boiling. Right? I think that's like a thing. That's probably something we could do. Now I've got to kind of keep an eye out for more snakes. I totally was forgetting about that and just like tunnel vision, tunnel visioning, um, grabbing all these supplies. It's so creepy that there are snakes. Oh, there's one right there. He moved. Is that the same one? Is that the same snake? Let's see, is this one over by the rock still? No, that is the same snake. But I want to kind of set my camp up right here, man. Oh! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, sick, 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 sick. He's moving. Now, okay, real life, I'm not afraid of snakes, like, when people have them as pets. But every time I run into a wild snake, I'm like, no. Nah. So, I don't know, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's like survival instinct. Anyways, anyways, let's take out some of these. And let's drop these with Q. Start making a little bit of a stick pile here. Get our supplies all over the ground. Uh, put some rocks here. Oh yeah, it's so perfect and organized and wonderful. And let's put our tarp right there. Oh, we got two tarps. When did I pick up a second tarp? They seem to know, but they don't they don't speak my language. And then we have our bucket. All right. All right, so everything that we have gathered is before us. Now I think what we should do is let's open up C here and see what we can do. It looks like we've got different categories. Um the first thing here is like tools. These are probably going to be what we need to make first. And then I'm just kind of peeking around at what's going on here. Alright, build in pieces. 
Bases, floors, propulsion. Wow, there's like so much stuff going on here. This is like super cool. Drinks and salves. All right, anyways, anyways. Let's... Hmm, what should we start out making? Probably a campfire. Craft. Oh, yeah. Let's put our campfire... Like, right here. Okay, Seagull, it sounds like you're being murdered. Could you just be quiet? I think I just drank seawater. Oh, I totally did! Oh, am I puking? Crap! I didn't mean to. How do I put this um, item in my inventory? Wait, X, Z? No, E? No, Q just drops it. Well, whatever. It could just hang out on the ground. Alright, so we got a campfire. Now can we make a campfire pit craft? Okay, and it, like, builds on to our existing thingamajig here. Cool. What else can we do? I'm thinking that we need to make, like, a stone tool, right? We gotta make a stone tool so we can start cutting some stuff down, get, like, lashings and, uh... Some useful stuffs like that. Let's see, what else can we make here? Shelter. Palm leaf and lashing. Ooh, speak of the devil. All right, so we need to get palm leaves and lashings. What do we need to make an axe? Two stone tools and two lashings. All right, all right. What do we need to make a knife? A lashing. All right, so we have a stone tool in our hand. Let's go ahead. We're going to close out of the crafting menu here. And we're going to go and look out for that snake. Is that him right there? I'm not going to take him on with the stone tool. I think I'm going to wait till I have like a spear so I can poke him from further away. He looks mean, man. I'm sure he's friendly. What should his name be? We're going to call him Jeff. I think Jeff is a great name. I know in Subnautica, that's what I call the rabbit ray. Um, but ever since I was a little kid, I was like, dude, if I ever have a pet snake, his name is going to be Jeff. Because that's just like a great, that's the best snake name ever. I don't know what, if you guys are judging me, I don't know why. All right. Oh, man. So I'm cutting down some, what was that, young palms? Is this, what is this? Ooh, a yucca plant. And these are way bigger. So before yucca plants were like super small and they only gave you like one lashing. And this thing looks huge. I'm hoping it's going to give us multiple. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Lashing rain. Or, I mean, fibrous leaves. I guess we got to craft these into lashings. All right. Night has fallen and it is amazingly dark. It's getting super, super dark. Look at that beautiful sunset. Oh, my goodness. All right. We'll come over to our little nightly base of operations. I really hope that snake doesn't come over to me. Do you think it will? Uh, lashing. Fibrous plant. Oh, I can only make one. All right. I only need one. All right, but now we need palm leaves. Okay. And we need an axe as well. <clears throat> so I think that means I might be kind of um, in trouble. I might be kind of stuck here through the night. I don't think there's any way I can sleep because I don't have a bed or any shelter. What was that noise? Was that just me? I think it was just me. Just my feet on the rocks. Oh my goodness. It's so dark. It's so dark. I just like want to look at the moonlight. Maybe when the moon gets up higher in the sky, we'll be able to see. Oh, can I light the campfire? Duh. <laughs> All right. So that's a little bit better. We got campfire things happening. Let's see. Water still. How do we make that? Oh, we can make that right now. Rocks, tarps, and a bucket. Let's do that. Oh. How do we... What do we do? Oh, do we just, like, put it... Does it just catch rain? Hold on a second. What do we have going on here? Let's look at all of our things. Bed. How do we make a bed? Can't make a bed. Um, water. Water collector. A basic fresh water collector that can be used to boil salt water from one container and collect the fresh water runoff into another container. And all we need is a fire spit to do that. We need a lot of lashings, though, too. So it looks like when the sun rises, that's going to be our super main goal. Um, campfire spit. Two lashings. Everything needs lashings. Oh. Oh, my gosh. There's just, like, bats going crazy over here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're so crazy. Why are they so crazy? 
So against my better judgment, I'm kind of out here at night um, trying to get some more lashing sort of things done, and the bats are just super crazy. Oh, oh, they're like swarming at me. Could I hit one? Get you. Like, could I eat a bat? <laughs> Cook a bat on a fire? I don't know if that'd be too healthy. Oh, oh, like I saw a target box on one for a second. Oh, they're so fast. Maybe I could catch one with my bare hand and get rabies. So many! There's so many bats! Oh, I can't grab them. Okay. I'm gonna keep cutting these palm trees and getting lashings. Alright, the night is about halfway over. The bats are still going super crazy, but I grabbed a ton more stuff to make more lashings here. So hopefully we can get our stuff going online here. Let's just make as many as we can. Bam. It's kind of annoying that I need to drop them. Can I check this and like enter a number? No, I just gotta like do it like so. Okay, bam. All right, so now we got, what, five lashings here? Let's go back into crafting. We need an ax, right? We need one more stone tool. All right, bam, bam, drop a yo, and ax. All right, there we go. Now we have an ax, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Sweet! Super awesome! Now, we've got our axe. Let's come down to Campfire Spit. Cool, we can make that one right now. Add that onto our super handy campfire. Oh yeah, we're so advanced in the campfire making. I really want to catch a bat. Maybe when I can make, like, more stuff I could do that. Alright, we've got the Campfire Spit. How do we make the water collector? We need five lashings. All right, so that's not too bad at all. Five lashings there. We have one, so that's four. And just some palm leaves. All right, so all I got to do is cut down a tree. And, uh, yeah, then we got everything that we need. Oh, now that I have the spit, I wonder, do you think I could... Oh yeah, can I put the bucket on there and maybe get that seawater to turn into some good water? You know what I mean? Oh wait, now it just says spit bucket. Hold E to interact. Is that still seawater? Oh wait, no, it's just a bucket. Let's put some seawater in it and see if we can kind of cook it up on the uh, fire there. Interesting. So I went out and I gathered a bunch more lashings, and now it says spit, bucket, seawater. Okay, so it's not doing anything as far as, like, turning it into not seawater. But, anywho, let's go ahead. We'll come here. We'll craft all the lashings that we can, which is a nice amount. We got four more hanging out. Alright, super, super cool. Now... What do we need for this guy? We have everything we need! Super awesome! So before night is even over, we can now make our uh, water collector. A basic fresh water collector that can be used to boil salt water from one container. Oh, so we need another bucket. Hmm. We need another bucket for that one to work. Maybe then what we should do is we should just like accept our fate and go with the... Uh, the basic thing here for right now until we find ourselves a second bucket. I think that's what we gotta do. Uh, let's take our bucket of seawater. Please. Could I take you? It won't let me take it. Oh my gosh. You won't let me take the seawater. Oh no. There, take everything out of our hands maybe. Oh, I turned off the fire. And I got our bucket back. That's what I'm talking about. All right, all right. So now we've got our bucket. We can go ahead and drop that on the ground. And let's make the water still. I didn't realize that we'd have to have two buckets for it to kind of work. And we're going to put our water still. Rate. Hmm. Major decisions, man. I feel like we're going to put it up on this rock. Oh, we can't put it up on the rock. I was just kidding. We're going to put it, like, right here. Because it's fine. That's totally a great place. Okay, so we got little, like, water drops happening up above there. Um, stuff happening underneath. I don't know where the palm leaves came from. Water still. Hold E to interact. 
So we can, like, drink water from this once it starts to, like, rain, I'm guessing. Which, I'm gonna be way dehydrated before then. Oh, man! Alright, so the sun should be coming up at any second. We can go cut down some palm trees and we'll get the shelter going on. Yeah, I really gotta get some water. That's kind of crazy. What can I do? Drinks. I know no drinks! No, no. Oh! The seagulls are back! The seagulls are back! And the sun has risen! Oh, man! It's a beautiful sunrise. Oh, man. Oh, look at it! He landed on the rock! What's up, Fred? What's up, Fred? Oh, I was just saying hi. I wasn't gonna catch you or eat you or anything. Alright, now that we've got some sunrise up in here, let's go and cut down some trees, make ourselves a shelter. Oh, my gosh! Oh, wow, it's getting bright super fast. This is awesome. Now, the water thing, I think we're going to be okay because we've got palm trees. Um, we need the palm leaves, but we can also eat the coconuts. Let's grab that. Does this one just have one coconut? I think so. Let's go ahead and cut this guy down. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to cut down the tree. It's so funky how it, like, rises when I'm cutting it. Alright, now, let's just drag this over to camp. We're gonna process this over by our little camp style over here. Oh yeah, look at that! It dropped four! That's so super perfect! Alright, alright, so now we've got our four palm leaves. We got some sticks. We got our little campfire and our awesome little water still. Let's go up to... Bam, bam, bam! Shelter. Craft this guy. And we're going to put our little hut, like, facing the sun so we can wake up with it. And if we want to go to bed before the sun sets, it's at our back. Or do we want to sleep in and be lazy? We might want to sleep in and have the sun at our back. That might be better. That way we're not, like, baking in the sun all day long. And I don't want to go too far up into the island just because that snake is wandering around. I don't want to be all... Poisoned. Let's put it right here. I think that's like perfect. Oh, that's so cool All right now Let's drop this coconut really fast bam And I wonder if this is still a thing. Can I take out my axe? And can we hit this thing? All right, so we broke off the shell Drinkable coconut. Oh, yes Take this out on three all right, now how much liquid did that give us? Oh, we're still only at two liquid. That is not good at all. I'm not super hungry, though, so I'm just going to, like, leave that coconut here and I can break it in half. Super no- that's not good. That's not good, man. We need water. We need water in such a bad way. And this thing, I'm sure, doesn't have any, does it? How are we doing? Yeah, no, there's, like, no water in here. Okay, okay, so we're gonna have to kind of go crazy, collect a bunch of coconuts from, like, everywhere, and, yeah, I think that's gonna be our main mission next time. Oh, what's that noise? It's the seagulls again. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think our main mission next time is we're gonna have to, um, find a second bucket, so we might need to go to another island, so we can get some better kind of water things happening. We're also gonna need to get just tons of coconuts to be able to stay alive. Now, something else that's kind of different in the game. Before it was like, we would save here. But now we must craft a shelter or a bed to, to save. Alright, so let's resume. Can we use this guy? Hold E. Do you want to sleep or save? Let's save! Oh, that's like super cool. That's like super cool. Alright, so our game is saved. We've got a bunch of starter kind of things going on. I'm super, super pumped about it. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out today. I seriously, seriously appreciate it. I'm having a super fun time playing this game with you guys. I hope you guys are looking forward to the next episode as much as I am. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will too. I'll catch you next time. And this is Casters. Out. Up a tree.